Grace Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And we have a very special guest, an illustrious star living her dream life in the city of lights, the city of angels, the city of brotherly love. She would never smack a comedian at the Grammys, the Emmys, the Oscars, none of that. She is, she is a vision of beauty and the personification of pure talent. We have Melody Pang with us today. Hi, everyone. <laughs> She's like, oh God, I don't even... <laughs> that was quite the intro. I'm very <laughs> feeling all sorts of feelings. Well, get Hi, used friends. to it because I see a bright future for you. Right, right. Yeah. How, how you been? What's been going on? How's how's uh, how's California life treating you? California's good. I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like LA weather, but like every two blocks, it's like a completely different like temperature. So I live by the beach really? at 77, but like five miles in, it's going to be like 10 degrees hotter. So. I'm like, oh. I feel fortunate to like live where I live right now. I'm not sweating yeah. it up like everyone else. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're in Texas. It's been about 100, 100 to 103 every day for like no. three months now. Yeah. Absolutely. Texas, we do. We do it hot here. Everything's yeah, there's bigger. There's no, uh, hardly any humidity. So it's not, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it seems, right? So. I've gotten used to it. You get used to it after a while. You have to admit, you've gotten used yeah. to the heat that you experience here. Yeah, the dry heat is way better than like humidity. We grew up, I grew up in Ohio by Lake Erie and it was just like 100% humidity every day. And so you're just like sweating before you even get out of the shower. I like, you're just, yeah, it's over. So, so yeah, so any, uh, any big things you've been working on lately or just, just doing your, doing your thing? Oh my God. Uh, just auditioning like crazy, man. Like the second before I logged on, I just finished my last tape of the weekend, hopefully. It's just mm -hmm. my brain's gonna explode. It's nice though, like you, you do a tape, you memorize everything, and then you like dump that shit out of your brain immediately. You have to like relay yes. new information. <sighs> so lots of caffeine, but I don't know. I'm working <laughs> on some video games. That's cool, but like I'm not allowed to talk about anything. Oh yeah, yeah you, you're still not allowed. From the last time you were here, you weren't allowed to talk about it then. Oh really? It yeah, might be were... the same project, or it might be something new. I don't. <laughs> Did you do a video game that you're allowed to talk about? Because maybe that's the one you were doing before. You know, there are <laughs> games. Okay, where, okay. First of all, I don't remember which, what I was talking about. But there are some where they don't want us ruining their launch, so they actually have fake names where they don't even come up with a name until like a few weeks before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you'll think it's called That's like true. The World, and then it comes out and it's called like something. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, we'll call it, it like Project Alpha or something. Oh, uh, well, and then they know who spoils it if it gets around because yeah. they, have, they should tell Project everyone Alpha. a different name, then they can identify the, the rat, right? Like, because they're like, they, it's, it's called Waffle Party, Waffle Simulator. You know, they have simulator games for everything now, so. Can, can, you, give us the, can you give us the studio? I don't know if I can. All right, well, okay. well, oh, I don't want you to violate any NDAs, all right? I don't. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay. Also, I don't remember. Yeah. Like, you're like, I read lines and they pay me money. I yes. whatever, after that, like whatever. That's an agent question. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, but trust, trust her. She's working. All right, she's making the money. Trying. She's out here. She's out here. So I guess we're gonna start off with an easy one. Uh, she's gonna be here with us all week, everybody. So you'll get five, five episodes of Melody. Um, as we grow older, right? I mean, you know, Melody's 22 over here, just the, the young one of the bunch. Uh, but, you know, you always seem to have something going on with you, right? So I guess the thing I want to ask everybody now is, how are you injured right now? Because as soon as you get older, you always are hurt in some way. Something is always hurting. How am I injured? Yeah, I'll go, dude. I, uh, like, like my elbow, right? Like I had the pain on the inside. So I was like, oh, it's, it hurts, right? And then I was, so I was like, try to take it easy at the gym and everything. And then now the pain has shifted to the other side of the elbow. And I'm like, how does that even happen? It, went from the elbow to the it makes sense. In yeah. a couple of weeks. And I don't know what I did, how it works. It doesn't hurt all the time. But then next thing I know, it'll be like up in my shoulder. And I'll be like, I must've slept wrong last night. Now my shoulder hurts. I don't you know. Did you hurt yourself anyway? Um, I think I have repetitive stress in my wrist. Like, I feel like mm. I have carpal tunnel coming mm. on if I don't mm. already have it. Um, <laughs> and are we talking about emotionally, mentally? Because oh. like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, can, we can change the whole outlook of this podcast right now. 
pure Are you therapy. About my crippling emotional anxiety because yes. that shifts constantly. <laughs> but if if you start getting into that at the end, there will be a bill, because um, that shit's not free. It is not. <laughs> so uh, your wrist, uh, what happens? Do you, is it from writing? Do you think? Is it from texting? It's from yoga. 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 I know you're not supposed to like put stress on it, but I mean, no. everybody else is so good. I want to like freaking show off and be as good as everyone else, and then you <laughs> hurt yourself. Um, and I think it's from editing audio because it's very mm -hmm. like I don't have a mouse or anything, and it's like very tiny like movements, mm -hmm. um, and it's like repetitive over and over and over again. So I think I'm starting to feel that. But mm. yoga, <laughs> yoga is hard on your wrists. Like I've messed around with yoga a little bit, and like. Yeah, the, like everything you do is like you're putting all your weight on your hands and you're and you're leaning on it and you're doing things. So yeah, and I'm sure like if you're doing the advanced classes, they get crazy and they're like, watch me, watch me uh, balance on one hand upside down. And you're like, I can do that. And everyone else is like, well, now I have to try to too. <laughs> no, I, 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 me and Jonas, we hit the gym a lot. I, I never try to keep up with anybody else. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I, Look, I'm old and washed, and I'll let you know <laughs> when you see me out there. All right, I'm washed up. Um, am I? Am I hurt? She's in LA. Everybody's out there. Everybody's yeah. like, everybody's you gotta be beautiful. Jobs, you gotta be beautiful for, out know, there. Well, so, for the pandemic, I've only been like working out at home alone, and I like it so much more. Oh, really? Yeah, it's great. I look disgusting. I don't have to worry about like finding a cute matching outfit. Nobody's looking at me because nobody's here. And if I want to be lazy, I'm lazy. It's awesome. There you go. There you, <laughs> you go. Do you use like a uh, like a like a yoga like YouTube channel or like or do you just just know what you're doing and do it yourself now? Mm, I mean, it's sort of a mix. I'm on my sister's Peloton account. I don't have a bike, but like they have other random little workouts. Oh, that's awesome. Um, what, who's your favorite? Have... Who's your favorite instructor? Oh my gosh! Do you have a favorite too? I love Holly and Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never used Peloton. Oh. So I'm not sure. <laughs> No, I've honestly I've never been on one, but I I know a lot about them through just uh, friends of mine. So I, your friends are talking about Peloton. I, yeah, I, I know about who like what dance, what music mix they like to listen to, and like you know, I know yeah. I know a little bit. Well, Kelly, you, Kelly and how, are you hurt? <laughs> how am I hurt? Oh man, mostly mostly mentally. Um, <laughs> We, we, we're definitely not getting into that. I don't know, man. I, honestly, I feel really good. Like, I'm, I'm like Jim Hurt right now. Like, I'm just sore all over. Um, I guess, like, ever since I got COVID, uh, you know, I've noticed that I can't breathe quite the same like I used to. I don't get, really, did you ever get, did you get COVID? I've never tested positive for COVID, and I don't mm. think I have. Um, right. Like, I've never had a fever or anything past few years but yeah i just i just got over it i, I lasted two and a half years and i it, I, it was two weeks ago and i definitely don't feel 100 i'm not testing positive anymore but i don't definitely don't feel 100 percent yet and no. i went to the gym last week for the first time in like however long and my body was like what the fuck because i laid around for like 10 days straight and did <laughs> nothing you know and then i go back and try to do my same workout my body i was like i need a nap like, I was like, no. Yeah, and I got and I got mine like a year and a half ago, and it's like mm, things just have not been quite the same ever since, man. So, if you can stay away from it, Melody, I you should. I suggest I that you do. To. Well, it's so, hard. It's hard. Yeah. No. Totally. I've taken it really serious because, like, we get tested. That's like a contingency for us going on set. So I'm like, if I just mm -hmm. book like a five figure job, I'm not about to lose that shit. Like, if I got COVID, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I would, well, and you said you stay home and and, uh, and do yoga at home and shit. So it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't go out and do tons of shit either. So I've been very cautious. Just one of the people that well, I was in my circle, uh, their family caught it, and I caught it that way. So it was like, it's not like I went to a concert or something. It was like, Fuck no, yeah. no, that is not what happened. Oh, whatever, dude. He's I was been doorknobs at the gym. Okay. <laughs> there, yeah. Tell the truth. Tell the very truth. Putting it, yeah. putting it on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the gym, gym, uh, gym handle challenge. You know, that's what, uh, that's what it does. Do you, uh, do you do TikTok, Melody? I try to. I'm kind of old for it. My sister's all into it. She's like, do it, do it. Something that you make is gonna go viral. And I'm like, well, that requires me to like have a million ideas a day and actually execute. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, I have never downloaded it because I waste too much time on Reddit, and I know that if I downloaded TikTok, then my life would be nothing but Reddit and TikTok. So I know better to ever touch it. Other than, and I see TikToks on Reddit, so you know I see a few here and there because people post them. So. You could just go in there and tell jokes. I just need you to get famous so that we can get Me? more famous. Yeah. Oh. I'm yeah. working on it. I mean, I'd like that. That'd be all right. Then, then we could actually pay Melody for coming on. <laughs> be like, hey, come on our show. We'll give you, we'll give you some money. Those five figure jobs you're talking about. Oh my god, they only come around like once or twice a year. No. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, how much? How much are? You, how, how much would you charge for an interview if if they weren't like uh, close personal friends like us? That's a close personal friends. I tell you guys everything. Um, that, that's what I said. If they weren't close personal friends <laughs> like us, how much would you charge a person for an interview? Like Kimmel, Kimmel calls you up. He's like, Melody, I need you on the show tomorrow. Oh my god, I feel like okay. I was just learning about publicists and how much they cost. Okay. Four to six thousand dollars per month on retainer. So I'm like, oh, the Lord. fuck. Um, so I don't. Do people get paid to go on Kimmel? I don't know. Uh, I, I feel don't, like that's like free promotion. Free promotion. Um, like, yeah, I guess it is free promotion because usually everyone's like, everyone's hocking a project, right? Like, oh, here's my new movie. Here's my new show. It's free advertising. So, I don't know. Maybe they have to pay to be on Kimmel to do advertising. So, no. okay. So a publicist got. <laughs> they probably come on for free. What I know they do that for radio. What does the publicist do for you? Like, what what do they give you for four to six thousand dollars? Yeah, so they try to get you into like premieres and like parties where you meet people and have people mm -hmm. write news articles about you. Mm -hmm. um, get that little Twitter verification check. Not okay. All so the stuff you could do for yourself, but it, it's just a lot of work. Yeah. So they put you in positions to network and things like that. Mm -hmm. And they get your face out there. Interesting. People notice you. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I, yeah, I guess that's a lot of freaking money. It, and how would that be different than your manager or your, uh, not manager, uh, I can't think of the name. The, uh, the attorney? You work. Oh, like the, yeah. That's a good question. So your agent is trying to agent. get you jobs, like, on TV. But then a publicist would be, like, the people who would get you interviews on Kimmel or, like, magazine stories or anything. That. So I'm guessing people have different connections. And they know different oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, one okay. is more for like advertising. One is like work. So kind of. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, anyways, that's all time we got for today's episode. Uh, please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Uh, Melody, you got anything you want people to check out? Honestly, not really. Okay, sounds good. Go to I, uh, IMDb and, and and you can see all the things that she's done. Yeah. So, uh, for Jonas. TNT. And? Oh, and Melody. Bye, guys. We are out. <laughs>